What's up deputies officer first 30 minutes here today is going to be part of a larger tutorial where I show you how to mod your GTA 5 game to play LSPDFR part one of the series is just simply going to be how to install LSPDFR so let's jump right into this so there are going to be two files you need first you want to go ahead and download LSPDFR link will be in the description just go ahead and click it and download the file I've already downloaded it here on my computer and I'm going to be doing the manual install. It's simply drag and drop. On my left here, I have a clean GTA 5 directory patch 678. This is the Lowriders part two update. I have not done anything to it yet. So we're simply gonna copy all of these files and paste them over. Before you do anything, make sure to back up all your files into a separate directory in case you do make mess up anything. You can simply go back to your backup. So just copy and paste this. It's gonna move all these files over. All right, boom, LSPDFR is in there. Now since LSPDFR is uh, outdated, the Rage hook that it comes with, the second thing you're gonna need is Rage plugin hook. So if you're on patch 678, you're gonna need Rage hook 0.37. So you just download that file. I've already downloaded it here. And we're just gonna do the same thing, copy and paste. You want to click yes to any files that you need to overwrite. So replace the files on these destinations. And boom, that's it. Pretty simple. So let's go ahead and open up Rage plugin hook here. I always run as administrator. I find that causes less problems. Yes, you want to unblock all these files. We'll get up to our, uh, you get this little disclaimer the first time you ever load it. Next time you boot it up, you will not see this. Okay, first time initialization. And it's gonna make sure you have all these prerequisite files. If you don't, it should give you a link to download whatever you might need to. You can back up the game version. I don't because I made that whole directory with all the files, so no. And here we go, we got plugins. Uh, let's go ahead and tell it to load LSPDFR on start, advanced settings. We'll just leave that as is and let's go ahead, save and launch. All right, we are in the game now. To go ahead, let's force duty. Just press F4 on your keyboard to bring up this, force duty. And we are now on patrol. So, uh, what this gets you access to is just the base LSPDFR. I haven't switched out any vehicles. Uh, you can take callouts, all that fun stuff. There's a uh, limited number of default callouts. Uh, further tutorials, I will show you how to install additional callouts as well as car models. So if you enjoyed this, uh, leave me a like. I'm trying to make these tutorials quick and to the point. It's very simple. Anyone can do it who has GTA 5 on their PC. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next episode.